Hi, I'm Broomy. Welcome back to Full Boost. Today on Tech Tuesday, we're going to take a look at impact wrenches. Which one you should buy and why. Okay, so before you start working on your car, you may realize that you don't have a lot of tools. You might have some hand tools, so just some normal ratchets or spanners. But if you're going to be working on your car quite a lot, Power tools, especially cordless power tools, will make your job a hell of a lot easier. So one of the first tools that I ever purchased was a cordless impact wrench. Um, you can see here there's four different types of impact wrenches. I've also got this one here, which is what's called an impact ratchet, not to be confused with impact wrenches. So you might see something like this get used by uh, a lot of people out there. Um, this is basically just a cordless version of a ratchet. So you can see it almost looks exactly like a normal ratchet head. You actually have to manually here flip between reverse and forwards. But these are very, very low torque. So these will be designed around, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure the torque for these are not much more than 20 to 30 or 40 newton meters of torque sort of in terms of fastening so they're really designed to drive out bolts and drive in bolts but not to fasten so to speak so not really to tighten up or break away bolts so that's an impact ratchet we'll put that to the side just for now because it's not really what we're looking at here and here you'll see a lineup of um, impact wrenches from DeWalt I always use this brand I always say the better quality tool the better quality the end results I like to use good quality tools um, I've, I've noticed once I've used better quality tools than some other tools that I've used to previously that uh, I was able to work faster and work better which meant the quality of work I was doing was much better so here we have a, a few different styles so if we start here from the left you'll see one of the biggest differences here is the voltage in them all so this one's a 10.8 volt and these three are all 18 volt so straight away you know that this one is probably going to be less powerful than these ones so if we go in terms of torque so torque is the amount of force required to to, to make something move so in terms of a bolt it will either mean how much force is required to be applied to that bolt to tighten it up to spec or to loosen it off so in terms of these impact wrenches they all have different peak torques that they can fasten or undo bolts so this little guy here uh, that is 130 newton meters this one is 203 newton meters this one is 680 newton meters and this one is 950 newton meters uh, constant max torque although this one actually has 1625 newton meters breakaway available so that what it's saying is that initial hit on the anvil this is called the anvil is can be up to 1625 newton meters or break away a bolt that's been tightened to 1625 newton meters so this is the big boy that i bring out when i would need to undo the 54 mil nuts on the back of um, my rotary engines um, something like maybe a 2jz um, crankshaft harmonic balancer pulley bolt something like this is that is the type of tool and the type of, of torque you need to undo it so the other thing to notice here in differences this one has a 3.8 anvil this is the anvil uh, and it also has what's just called a, uh, a a lock ring or a split ring these ones are all half inch anvil and they're what's called pin indent or pin dent so that is the socket is kept in place by this little pin here so the socket slides on and inside of every socket there's a little uh, cutaway and this is just spring loaded so the socket goes over bang locates on there and keeps the spring in so other differences here this is only one speed but it is forward reverse and you can see the led lights there which is great uh, so that's one speed this is also one speed this has got multiple speeds here so you got your low and high and this also has multiple speeds and torque so you'll see it has multiple speeds so if, if you've only got a smaller bolt that you want to undo you could flick it over to number one speed and undo that without fear of breaking a bolt because the biggest thing is if you put that on number three and for some reason you want to undo an m6 like a six millimeter tiny bolt and it's got 625 newton meters breakaway torque and just say you accidentally put this on the wrong way forward instead of reverse and you go to drive that go to re, um, reverse out the bolt and you're driving it through you guaranteed you'll snap that bolt in half so having that control over torque and speed is is very important um, the other thing to notice is modern day tools 
cordless tools is brushless motor. So you see these two have what says here is a brushless motor, which means it's basically a computer controlled motor at the back of it instead of having your normal um, commutator and windings, whereas these two are just still brush units. So brushless motor means no service because there's no, um, there's no brushes to wear out. It also means efficiency. So you'll, you'll get a lot more runtime out of these batteries than you will out of the battery on a similar brushed tool. So um, for me, if you were going to start out and you were um, looking to do maybe a lot of light work, I do like these, these small ones because they are very light and very handy and they will, they will help you undo and do up a lot of bolts. Uh, if you could only afford to buy one and you had to go with one, I'd probably go for this one. Um, I mean, this is the big daddy of them all and it can undo anything and everything. However, this one also is no slouch. It's 680 newton meters of torque. It's also about 1.3 kilos lighter than this one. So that weight has, has a lot to, I mean, if I feel like I can move this around quite a lot, whereas this is, is quite heavy. And if I was picking this up, this up and using this quite a lot, um, I'd feel my, my arms would get more fatigued quickly with this because it's such a big heavy unit. So th this is really good for big bolts. If you're doing a lot of wheels and tires often, this is great. But I mean, a, a, a normal wheel nut is about 110 newton meters. So for this to be 680 newton meters, you know that's gonna handle it well. So all in all, if you're looking to buy, get in the market to really improve the, the rate of quality of work that you do and, and how fast you can do it, definitely get one of these cordless impact wrenches. Um, if you could only, if you could buy two, I'd say maybe buy the smaller one and one of these two. If you can only afford to buy one and you want to start at one, I'd definitely go for that one. Model number on that is DCF894. So I'll just quickly run through those. That one's the DCF813. This one's a DCF880. This one here is a DCF899. So if you had to buy one, I'd pick this DCF894. That's probably the pick of the bunch for the best, best compromise between weight, size, and power. Um, yeah, and I love it. As you can see, um, these tools are well, well used. So it's not like someone sent us free tools and we're just reviewing them for the sake of it. These are the tools that I use, I love. Um, and they've never let me down. So really love these tools, great quality stuff. Um, and that's about it for today. So that's our little thing on impact wrenches. If you'd like to see more on this and any other videos, post it down in the comments below. But for today, that's all. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hi, I'm Broomy. Welcome to Full Boost. Today... <laughs> <laughs>